in this video I want to show you one of the best bit of software that I have found for redoing repairs on your computer. Now there's many of them that does cleaning and removing malware and spyware where this one here it does repairs. It's, it's really really I, I just love it. You go to tweaking.com and you'll see a page like this you'll you'll know when you see that and just recently this one here you you can't you have to do a clean boot which means you have to go to ms config and disable all your startup files except microsoft but this one here they just recently updated it now you can do it in safe mode you know you don't have to do it in safe mode but it works a lot better because you don't want any running processes going on while it's working but you click on this link here it's kinda hard to see unless you put your cursor on there you see it you click there now you can get these are all mirrors other places you can go there's bleeping computer that's really well trusted but here is the direct download and if you want the portable version it comes in a file. I'll show you what it looks like in a minute here because I already have it. You can down the direct, download it here. Or you, you can choose one of them sites. It's kind of hard to find if you do though. Well, let's download this one here and I'll show you how it works here. I wanted to show you how it downloads because it's really, there's no third party products in there. These guys, are, it's free and these guys are all paid by advertising and donations. Alright, it's done. Click open. Just keep clicking next. At least I do. All the settings are just like I like it. And create a desktop and open it up. Alright, now there's here's what it looks like. Now if you get the portable version, it looks like this. Just all these files, they have to be in one folder in order for it to run. All you got to do is look for the one that says application. Click run. And, and see this one here, you can bring it to another computer. And uh, I like portable apps too, so that's really why I got it also. But let me show you how it works here. I'll open up the regular one I just got. Now these steps, you don't have to do every one of them. But remember, it says right here, please use Windows Safe Mode with networking or do a Windows Clean Boot. It is like what I said, you go into MS Config and disable all your startup files except for the ones that, that are provided by Microsoft. But just a uh, Safe Mode with networking. You can run it without even being in Safe Mode, but it does a much better job if you do in save mode. Now, and you can read this also. A power reset means draining all the electricity out of your system. Turn your computer completely off. Unplug it from the back and hold your power button down is what you'll see it reads right here. That drains it from all the juice and plug it back in and restart it. That resets. There's a lot of times there's volatile memory that stays in there that'll interrupt and the second step and I would advise it too if you don't already have it malware bytes to remove any malware because like I said this does not remove malware this just does repairs but if you download malware malware bytes is one of the best for removing step three check your disk for errors now this one here all it does is check it, it brings up a, a log that shows you if it needs it well I your best bet would be to just do it as soon as you click do it right there it's gonna ask you to restart your computer because it has to be done during startup it can cannot do it while Windows is running so I just click do it and this one here you can system file check that's another good one to do it doesn't take very long for that one now this one here if you can uh, create a restore point restore it to an earlier time 
back up your registry and if things go wrong you can restore them back to way they were but I just skipped all that together and created I created my own restore point nothing I've done it on six different computers so far and it's just beautiful now this one here is repairs now before I open up repairs I'm going to show you something that you're probably going to want to do because after you get started you can't click on settings and and it's going to run through a bunch of it's going to have a bunch of screens popping up about right here and they're all set to gray see that that's is by default they're set to gray now me I don't really like and it also has black lettering now, I really don't like purple that much but it's really easy to see here let me put that back to gray there and show you what it looks like let's see there's gray now that's this is what it'll look like see and you really can't quite see the writing on there it's just like that's if you want to watch what's going on it really doesn't matter but I'm gonna click down here and I'm gonna click purple and then right here I'm gonna pick bright white now you can see your writing Right here and you, it'll be reading off and telling you exactly what it's doing while it's doing it and let me tell you it really gets going it does so many repairs now, okay once you get that how you want it you click uh, let's see go back to repairs open repairs now it's gonna do every single thing on this list if you want to check off the ones that are not like remove your temporary files that's sometimes good to do if you have a lot of them and reset file permissions that one's unchecked I don't know why I just left it unchecked I just left it just how it is by default and uh, you'll see here it even does repairs for Windows 8 and yes I've done it on Windows 8 it runs beautiful I mean it just really livens up your computer and makes it react much faster and cleaner and you'll notice updates start coming in because a lot of your updates get disabled and it's really really nice alright now this one is going to take a while so I'm going to have to skip turn the video on and off oh yeah here you can check that and click right there to restart your computer or you can leave it on it'll just shut down but I just click you know reset restart because most likely you'll be in safe mode now this this is my virtual machine and it's not in safe mode I'm just showing you how it would work now see and then it, it goes through all these systems here and you'll see right here repair jobs one of 37 it'll say 35 down here but there's a couple steps for each one on a couple of them and uh, the setting owner I don't quite figured out what that is and then it goes to step two of that stage and I'll be right back once it really starts get going alright now it's really starting to work let's see if we can see it go through a few steps now you'll notice on here it says this may take a long time pending on your system Stopping this process before it is finished can cause, can create problems. Please be patient. So you, after, once you start this, you just, you really don't want to stop it. It's just best to wait anyway. And right down here, you can monitor and see your CPU usage. It really does drag down your CPU because it just really works hard. You got your, your drive write and read, memory used. Now I noticed it's got stop repairs, but I wouldn't advise it. But, but it just it re, re, resets everything back the way they are supposed to be. Resigns all your drivers. It's really, really nice. Now you can see here now it says 4 of 37. I'm not going to go through all of them. I'm just going to show you, let you watch it do a few. Searching file for MOF and MFL files to add back to WMI. Like I said, this does not malware remover or spy remover. This is just repairs. It's just I just can't express it enough. It made my computer run so much better.
I think I'm going to pause this video again and be right back once it really gets going here. Alright. I think it's about time to get it kick in now. It's going through the steps. It's on step 5 right now. Checks your firewall services. I mean it does so many so many good things. It's really nice. Sets Windows services to default startup, repair, printer spooler, repairs Windows safe mode. Some computers can't even get into safe mode because it's disabled. It repairs your Windows updates, repairs it when it says CD, DVD missing, not working. It goes on. For Windows 8 it repairs the App Store. I've seen that where, where they won't update and you're stuck with old apps on your screen. Yeah, it's really moving along. You notice your icons blink and because it does it repairs broken icons. See it says repair icon right there. Repairs your proxy settings. All right. Well, I can only you get the idea. It's 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 just really it's like magic. Whoever built this guy, they really really got it together. I just love it. All right, you guys. Thank you very much for watching.